Good Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's about 2.30 or so, somewhere around there now. Um, didn't feel like starting on the big van because it was pretty muggy this morning. It was foggy and, uh, you know, it wasn't too good and I had some things I had to do. I had to pick up some prescriptions and stuff. By the time I got started on it, I wasn't going to be jacking up the, the van and getting that wheel off today. Um, <clears throat> I went for broke. I bought another can of Duplicolor um, for the van because I used the last up. And that's what I'm going to be doing today, touching up on video. I normally don't video that. This is the regular masking tape that I bought. Um, when I bought this at an auto supply store, uh, it was about three dollars cheaper in that auto supply store. It was like seven and change versus uh, over eleven dollars in the other two stores and it's the exact same thing, Duplicolor. Okay. I priced the Bondo glass in that same store twenty-one dollars for this small can. I says I can get it cheaper at Walmart. $12.84. So I went to Walmart and bought the Bondo glass. What I've been saying over and over and over, I need Bondo glass. Well, it finally broke down and bought it. There's a two pound, nine ounce can. We're not working with that today. What we are going to be doing today, I'll show you, follow me. Um, when I bought that chassis and um, bumper paint, I bought this at the same time a couple weeks ago, self-etching primer, um, which I'm going to put on here because uh, you may not be able to see it from here. Um, it's a little bumpy here and I had that all smoothed down. Tommy's videoing but I'll show you. Um, this is, I did this, I don't know, a few months ago. And it's not bondoed, I just sanded it and uh, primed it. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to hit it with the, some more sandpaper here. we got a little area here we're going to hit. Uh, we're not going to go digging in this with bondo and stuff like that. we got to get on the wheel wells. So um, this is an older uh, area that I worked on. So we're just going to mask this off here and hit the self-etching primer damn bugs over here quickly let that dry and then use the enamel we got 220 grit here this is some of that paper that I got from that yard sale So we'll just clean it up a little bit and prime it and paint it and that'll be good enough. Now in the back, as I showed you on other videos, the um, areas were rusted through and I had to put Bondo in there. But we're not going to do that now. We may have to go over this and work on it again. But we're not doing that now. We're going to hit this with self-etching primer. But we're going to take this off first. The problem with this tape is you got to be very careful. It's very, very thin. And if you don't leave a little piece hanging, the stuff is so thin you can't find the end of it. So what I usually do is make sure there's a little tail hanging there. All right, and we'll bring that right up in there. All right, we're only going to be doing here like that because we got a little rough area here we got to hit. 
So, um, I'm going to do hit another area. Now, what we're going to do now is to get my cardboard. I gotta get a screwdriver. These things don't come off. You gotta use a screwdriver. Hang on, I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> that was a good dance. Yeah, whatever you call oh, it. Now, years ago, if I didn't have a screwdriver handy by, I used to take and slam these on the edge of the bench out there and to get the cap off. And the uh, sprayer would go flying across the yard and, well, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> And a lot of times, if you're not careful, you bust the sprayer with the screwdriver, so you got to be careful with that, too. All right, I'll we'll leave that there. And we got our cardboard sitting up there. Got to use our left hand here, I'm left handed. All is painted here. Let's see. I think if we're careful, okay. All right, it's not too, too bad. Looks good. We'll let that dry. The last can I got before this one, it came out like water. There must have been much, very little concentrate in it. And it took me a lot of times to go over to cover it like this one did. So I think the quality control on some of these things isn't too good. In other words, there's a watered down version of this, too. You gotta be careful. I cleaned everything up here with this uh, cleaner that we used on the side of the house. Works very well. And then I sanded it with a uh, 220 grit. That's the finest paper I have. So now, we'll let this dry and we're gonna go over here and prep this side. So, now come follow the goat. This is the last area. Well, there's a little one on the corner over there. I can't get started on the wheel wells because uh, I need to get out early. And it wasn't until after uh, late morning by the time I bought the stuff. So. All right, this is... Uh, All right, let me get the camera. All right, you can see now, this is what I did uh, in this area here. So you've got like, you can feel this with your fingernails. So I got to kind of like sand that down. And over here, sort of that when I, I'm going to hit this with the uh, self etching primer after I sand this down with this here. I'm basically doing this. I'm doing one of these John from Arkansas deals here. I don't know how you do it, John, but you can be more efficient if you use a, a tripod. You know what a tripod is, John? Hi, John, you listening? Hey, John. John left the building. <laughs> I'm just going over very lightly. I want to just kind of like feather that that gray paint, that rust-oleum that I have on here, kind of like feather it in. It's never gonna be perfect like a body shop would do. But.
it should be okay. Remember, this is poor man's body work. Yep. It's poor all, man's, if you're poor watching man's this, series. You're, if you're watching this, it's because you most likely can't afford to have a body shop do it, just like myself. And you can only do it yourself because that's all you can afford. Or let the vehicle rot away. So that really is your choice. And, you know, you keep up on it. I'm not saying this is going to hold up. This one, I think, is Bondo in here. But the one that we just did before, that I just sprayed up in the front there, um, is no Bondo in there. And I think that might have to be um, ground down a little bit and get the rust out that could be coming through underneath. But this one here is all Bondoed and is pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is take my cleaner and go from here back and then hit a little more sanding on here. It's pretty... See, I can't feel it on my fingernail anymore and just very slightly here. Kind of like taper it in. Of course, you're removing some of it and it's going down to the white, but that's okay. All right, now, all right, while that primer is drying and it's actually dry to the touch now, we're going to clean down here. This is a dirty rag, by the way. Um, <laughs> I had diarrhea the other day. <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humor in the videos, folks. If you don't, you might as well be dead. Yep. And when you are dead, you're dead for a very long time. Just remember that. Yes, you are. A very long time. It's pretty dirty, and the van really never got washed. Very hard to get through the self serve, uh, not the self serve car washes, and the car washes are too expensive now. Yes, they are, yeah. <sighs> Everything's expensive nowadays. I know. Like that blue masking tape, uh, a couple of you suggested, or well, one of you suggested anyway. Uh, dollar store, that's a good idea. The dollar store may. Uh, be the place to buy the blue tape. You don't need the blue tape for what I'm doing today. I just need the regular tape to cover this up. All right. We gotta work down there, so we'll get that out of the way. All right, normally, if I was doing this by myself, I wouldn't uh, be recording this. Because Tommy's running the camera, that's fine. Because I I can't keep stopping and yeah, you know it just takes too much time the video. What would take me uh, an hour would take me three hours when I am videoing. You know I just can't do it. All right now, let's see if we can get a. This ain't too bad. This is it's feeling pretty good in here. There's a little piece of silicone in here. You're not going to be able to get that out. It dried, you know, a silicone because I had silicone this in the gutter because I had a little hole in there which is all bonded up now. So you never can get the silicone off so the paint won't, won't adhere. We'll try a clean cloth now. We have that little tail, yes. You just fold it over. That's what I've always done. 
I'm ahead of you, John Speeder. <laughs> I know you told me to do that. I know I've been doing that for years. All right, now, we are going to just put this tape just like this. And then uh, we put a little piece of tape. Uh, like that. You know, the uh, paint is going to be uh, never, never going to match right. The white, it looks a lot whiter. It's a proper color match. For the 1994 Econoline with the WB code. Uh, but that's what we got to work with. a little overspray that's fine looks like paint it's primer oh yeah, what you can say is like paint. Looks like paint anyway. Yeah. Well. Sure. I think we're ready to hit the white on that side. She's drying up good. You never know. You get a, you, you, you got to work between raindrops, as I said, because you know it's just the way it is. Yep. You never know. You get a rain. Uh, I don't know. That primer seems to make it rough in there. I don't know why. We'll let that dry. I might have to hit that with sandpaper and just paint it without the primer. Let's see what that looks like over there. Sometimes they have a little dot, but there isn't any. So I guess it doesn't matter. Now I want to take a look. That one's nice and smooth. So I don't know, with the Rust-Oleum paint that, the gray, uh, I gotta, gotta go get my, uh, my board, it's over on the other side. Want to take a chance to get it on the window and then I'll be using a single edge razor blade to clear that off. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh, I've done it. Yeah. I don't know why. It's dry, but it's it turned crinkly. It turned crinkly with the self-etching primer on that Rust-Oleum, but it didn't do it over there. So I think we're going to just, when that dries good, we'll hit the 220 on there and then just put this on and that'll be it. That should do it. So let me uh, check the <coughs> dryness. Oh yeah, that's totally dry. You gotta go down again and get this. 
Your masking we tape. We got to mask off the corner of the windshield because it's probably going to go on the trim. And if it goes on the trim, you'll never get it off. You'll never get it off. Never can make the turn and make a circle like this. Never, never can do it. You can't, you can't take and bend masking tape. You can do it this way, but you know, you can't make a curve in other words. It still looks gray. We're doing light coats, as was suggested. I have a habit of just wanting to do it and get it done with and get it covered in one thing, but you really can't do that or you'll get runs in it and it'll look like crap. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a, a, a rough area right in here. Uh, that happened when I was putting the self-etching primer on, on what was left over of the gray Rust-Oleum enamel. Now this is really smooth here. It's almost like water sanding. That came out good. So we're going to hit this area here and then we're going to hit it with the white. We'll hit it very lightly. Very, very lightly. It's not really that smooth either. It's not smoothing out at all. Now there's Bondo in there, I want, but that's never done that before. to be rolling up. I don't know. That's not working out too good over here. That's a little better. Because it needed a little bit of sanding here. We don't want to take all the primer off. That defeats the purpose of putting it on in the first place. Right. All right, now let's try this cleaner rag here. All right. We gotta make sure that's right up in there because I can see the rubber gasket and we don't want to paint that white. Good with my left hand, a right hand. I'm a lefty.
dries pretty quick, doesn't it? Yep. It's looking good. I mean, not as good as a uh, professional job, but it's looking good enough for me. Good enough for a poor man. As I said, this is poor man's body work, so if you don't like the way I do it, look at a professional. And don't bother the goat. <laughs> don't bother the goat. All right. We won't get rambunctious and try to cover that all in one shot. And it's just a little too much. It's looking good. Does look good. It's looking good there, Andy. Holy mackerel, there, Andy. It's looking good. All right. Not quite, I can still see it on the bottom here. We don't want to go too heavy because it could run down. There's a couple of specks on the glass, but that'll come out with a single edge razor blade. Oh, you don't scratch the window. No. Will it? Be all right. All right, let's go down there. Let's check that out. I might need another coat. Show me the way to go home. To my head. La da 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 this area here will get done at another time. I'm just interested in uh, getting that done and just a second here. I see something here I don't like. We're getting a run right there. Just a tiny bit. Yep. I think we're going to have to come around over here. Okay, we're putting a little masking tape over in this area over here. We had a little bit of a run here. I can just hit that up a little bit. Just, uh, that looks better. Just 
Good enough for government work. Yep. <laughs> we'll leave that tape on. You're never gonna get it perfect, uh, you know. You need a... It takes an artist to do that kind of work. All right, now, that's looking good. We'll leave that on there. We'll come over here. Okay, um, it's just a little tacky, very little, but I can see the outline of the gray here. I can't see it up here, so. almost perfect now. down to the end here and let's just see what we've got down at that end might need cleaning we got to be very careful we don't want to get paint on the car let's go down here and inspect this area and see if I need to um, paint it oh yeah The back was done, but this area here isn't. So what we're gonna do we're gonna clean this. First degrease it. down there. So we're done with that rag. Alright. We're done with this. I don't think we need the self-etching primer. I think we should be okay. A little bit of sanding in here. To feather that gray into the white. That's looking good. Very little work needs to be done in this particular area. So the best place to buy Bondo is Walmart. I can't believe the body, uh, the, now that's, I think it was um, CarQuest, I'm not positive. I have to look at the receipt because I stopped at so many places. But they were very reasonable on this white touch-up, duplicolor. They were like $3 cheaper. Now that has really surprised me, it's the same exact number. I only bought one can because I uh, would leave myself totally broke if I went to buy two cans and the Bondo glass. Uh, we need the Bondo glass because we're going to be working on the bottom end here and the wheel well area is very soon here. I just hate to get started and then have it rain. This here, you know, once it dries, it rains on, it's not going to hurt it. So I can do little things like this. But you can only do so much, and then... Well, you know what happens then. you got to do the big stuff. Like it or not, even if you have to do it once or twice a week.
don't know, is that a rust spot or is that dirt? I don't think it's dirt. Try to clean it off with something, see if it comes off. I don't think it is. Well, yeah, that's what we'll do. We can use this now, we're done with. Need a microscope to look at this. <laughs> Feels like it's doesn't feel like a pit. Yeah, I think it's I think it's dirt. Alright. Are we Are we ready to rumble? I gotta go get the masking tape. I gotta cover around here. Alright. Okay, let that dry and we'll go on the front and pull the masking tape off. That's good. It came out good. So we got rubber in there. Now you can see the difference in that there. looks darker there but the, actually it's not and that's the rust that's the self etching primer that's showing through that because the white is actually lighter in shade than the original only because the van is a 1990 so it's not exactly new so what we're going to do here is we're going to sand that a little bit and see if I can get some kind of a blend in there. We are going to do Gonna get the keys and open this door, roll the window down, and hit this. It's coming off pretty good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it with that. down enough that I don't have to do that. Yeah, I better because I'm down to the metal, I'm sanding down to the metal here, so we're going to, we're going to hit that with a little, we're going to hit that with a little paint. Over here, over there, we got to put some masking tape. Uh, I'll get it for uh, you. Don't, no, 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 I'll, I'll get it. You got it? Okay, that paint might still be wet up there, that's why I asked. Gotta put a little bit on the 
rubber here we don't want to paint to get on the on the rubber. Watch out. <laughs> Open the door. Just don't spray it on my shirt. Yeah, just go over the side. There you go. Because once that stuff gets on your shirt, you can't get it off. Touch-ups, little dings. How careful I am. look too bad if you don't really look in here you're all right and it blended in there all right so we got a yellow jacket that got in in the van <laughs> yeah all right let me uh Paint wasn't so expensive, I'd spray him white, but that's all right. Tommy's got his bug zapper out here, so we can use it on him um, later. All right, let's go down the other end. Next coat of this. Everything, let's see. Pretty well dry. We got a damn one of them tree things that had to fall on the paint. That's why you need a garage to do this kind of work. You can't really, you can't paint a vehicle outside unless you're in a screened house of some sort. All right. I think we're good. We're gonna go check the other side. Okay, um, I got some cleaning to do on the other side with the cleaner and everything. We're not gonna record that part. And that's pretty much it for today. No reason for that racket. All right. We'll let this dry. I'll pull the tape off off camera. And I got some more cleaning on the other side and the gutters and stuff. And so forth. So that concludes this video. Tommy's going to do all the editing on this. Yep, I am. And I got to finish cleaning up here. So. 
we will see you on another video real soon. Take care.